Oh, hello, me hearties. Hello, hello, me hearties. How lovely to have you with us. Saturday night, of course, and it's Scotty McClue. I thought I'd just pop up to say hi to you. A lot of you might be scrolling through and you think, hold on a minute. I know that voice. I think I'll stop here and have a word with the first lord of the internet. And I think you jolly well should. That's something you should be doing. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Harrison. Hello, Smokey. Dinky do. Hi, John Douglas. Hello lovely to have you with us Saturday night. Nothing gets past me. Thank you, Scotty. Hi, Cipriani. Lovely to have you with us. Hello, Maria. How super to have you with us. And thank you, from me, Scotty McClue. It's been such a busy day. I'd hope to have a word with you maybe at lunchtime or this afternoon. But work got in the way, you see. <laughs> Lovely to be with you, though, on a Saturday evening, and a very, very warm welcome. Come and join us. Please follow me if you haven't done so as soon as you come on, of course, so that we've got as many followers as possible. Dinky do, Scotty. I thank you. There's Mystic has just joined us. How good is that? Hello, Mickey. Hello, lovely to have you with us. Dinky do. How are you, Scotty? Smokey. I am outstandingly well. I thank you. There we are. We had the most remarkable day yesterday. Happy Saturday, Scotty. Thank you. Dinky do the notification bell. What? So there we are. Fantastic. Rangers or Celtic? Go and see them both play. Make up your mind. That's what I would say. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys, because we're very short and follow us. Susie should not have been bricklaying whilst pregnant. Simperoni, she should not. And I've just put up a message to trolls so can everybody go and like it and tell me what you think about it as soon as you come on guys if it gives us a party thistle everywhere we go people want to know what do they want to know who we are who are we? We are the Jaggies, the Jaggy Jaggy Bonnets, up the custard creams. Gotty no day that this time. <laughs> Scotty, best wishes from Nottingham. Love your posts. I thank you, Darren. Thank you, do. I love you. God bless. Aura. God bless you. So lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Mate, could you say happy birthday to my mate, Alex? He's a big fan. I can, I be. I be. So, I be. Dundee United rule, pal. Is this a new thing you've started? <laughs> <laughs> How fantastic is that? Let me just see if anybody's followed us yet as soon as you come on. Nobody as yet. As soon as you come on, guys, can you all follow me? Are you a feminist? I am the father of feminism, right? You are talking to the man himself, one of the most famous men in the world and a man who's known as the father of feminism. I raised the awareness of uh, of single mothers i liked your video to the trolls well said they need to grow up don't they just absolutely shocked has just followed please follow as soon as you come on guys because we need to get these numbers up otherwise the games are boogie um now who have we got here if in doubt don't go out absolutely very, very sensible. Follow us when you come on, please. I've got this for you. I don't know if that rings a bell. Follow me at Scott McClue and you apparently tap something. Owen McLean, thank you so much for your kindness. OMG, hello again. Maria Knight, thank you so much for your kindness. Lovely, lovely, lovely thoughtfulness. You look like a fisherman. Ah, there's a tale to tell there. I'm quite thin. <laughs> I'm quite thin. <laughs> You're fit, lad. Yes, we're in good nick, lad. I'll tell you that. I love learning stuff from you. Well, what do you want? What kind of world would we have if we can't learn from each other? There we are. I had a half-witted idiot on my Facebook page. Oh, Archie, Bargy, Bargy. And I was trying to explain to him about how important the monarchy is. <laughs> All that kind of stuff. Amazing. There we are. How was your Easter? Easter was outstanding, Harrison. They want you to come back. I thank you, Nick. Are you depressed? I'm not actually. No, why should I be? What, uh, what have you got? See, we, we've got enough depressing news out there. That's why I do these lives to try and give us a wee bit 
of a lift. You know what I'm saying to you? So there we are. Guys, I need followers and I need likes. So come on, well said, Scotty, good stuff there. Yeah, I mean, we've got to learn. It's these people that start. Have you ever had these that set about you? As soon as you start telling them, you help them. Can I be mod so I can mute the trolls? I know it's great fun. Inverness Thistle or Caledonian? Well, I think both. Saw you watching the stream earlier. Yes, Lucy, absolutely. I was watching the stream. Uh, Facebook's where the weirdos hang out. Stay away. It's, no, no. Face, I've been on Facebook for years, but it's uh, it's very strange. Everything works, but they don't have the, uh, you know, the big numbers for you. They don't give you the big numbers. Need path castle. Absolutely. That's when you need a path. There we are. Good day, Scotty. Good day. <laughs> When in doubt, rule it out, Tam Spears. Now, what do we got here? Oh, I know what you're talking about. When in doubt, pull it out. You're talking about electric plugs. Yes, but the fire brigade actually said, don't be pulling them in and out. So there we are. What about that? Dylan, hello. Guys, follow me as soon as you come on. We need to build our followers. I've got a thousands and thousands and thousands of viewers, but it's getting every day following. So there we go. MX, you need to grow up. <coughs> In fact, I think you're a troll, aren't you? Coming on with that. Yeah. Silly, silly stuff. Quite right, Jack. He was a very silly man. There we are. Uh, now, the TV reporters being a little rude at times during the gun salutes. Now, why did you think that, Lucy? Tell me more. How's your horse? Is it still alive and well? No, I don't have a horse now, but thank you for asking. Uh, Dinky Doo for sharing the live. Thank you, guys. Very, very important. That was six senio. Have a good day. Ignore the haters. I will, Aura. And thanks for joining us. There we are. Uh, the Duke of Edinburgh, the best ambassador for Edinburgh. Absolutely, Akira. And of course, he was Chancellor of the University. You know what I mean? Uh, there we are. Uh, now, uh, what have we got here? Did you know Prince Philip? No, but I knew a lot of people who knew him well. And uh, he was a remarkable character. So there we are. What was the name of your shopping center? It should have been the Scotty Center. Six and you never, ever, ever say things like that. Do you know what I mean? Because you'd be so upset if somebody said it about your people. Yeah. So think, always think carefully. There's a lot of very influential people watch this live. So, you know, you're not just some daft wee troll on here. You're part of the world's media. There we are. Now, who have we got? Uh, Lexin, I don't know where you get all this stuff from. This rubbish about racism. That there's, there's been none of that. You know, just none of it. So, you know, I mean, you've had your head stuffed with that when you were wee, and you believed it. It's just not true. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Hi, Scott, is we again. The Wind and the Willows. Keanu, one of my favorite books, The Wind and the Willows. Ratty and Mole and the Weasels of the Wildwood. There we are. Uh, now, what do we got here? Uh, just a wee second, and I see this. Lexi, stop talking rubbish. You're just, you're such a silly, silly person. Just coming out with all that stuff that's just lies. You're, you're, you're telling lies. 55, I'm alive, this time, good. The Wind and the Willows is such a good book, it's beautiful. Uh, what, what's this one here? Popping in to say hi to random creators. Yes, welcome. There we are. Give them a lifetime ban. Quite right. There we are. Lifetime ban for these people. Do you watch the rugby? I haven't been watching the rugby this afternoon. No, but uh, lovely, lovely, lovely to have everybody on. You're very attractive, says Eli. I thank you, Eli. How very kind of you to say so. What a lovely thing. Guys, here's what you're watching if you've just joined us. You're watching Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet. Live on TikTok, dinky do follow, like, and share, and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Also, please follow me, because we need to build up our followers. I've got hundreds and thousands of viewers. 
It's it's probably the most popular TikTok on the go. Hi from Germany and Bavaria BMW Bavarian Voter Motorwerken. There's somebody asking, am I a lesbian? I don't know. I'd have to check. I'd have to ask an expert. So there we are. We'd see what's involved. Didn't you do? The difference is staggering. Thunderfly, absolutely. Yes, the difference is staggering. Don't know what you're referring to, but the difference is staggering. Guys, could you follow me, please? As soon as you come on. Uh, now. Are you sad Prince Philip is dead? I'm not sad for him because I think he was in a lot of pain and discomfort, but he was a lovely, lovely man, and he did so much for the whole world. How many of us can say we've done things for the whole world? William saying, are you a narcissist? No, William, you mustn't think that everybody's the same as yourself, okay? No, no, not at all. No, no. I mean, uh, I don't even know why you asked that question. I'm very strange. Guys, follow me as soon as you come on. Hello to you, good sir. Dink you do. Lovely to have you with us. The whole world, Lexi. He looked after the whole world. See, the Queen's in charge of the Commonwealth. 53 countries. Who's the man in your hat? That's Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lot of the internet, and the world's most humble man. How good is that? So there we are. Now, why are you asking that? Excoral. I think you're used to doing that when you troll other lives. Uh, so there are. Do you support the SNP Labour Tory? Um, no, I don't. Uh, I, I'm not political at all. So I don't really know much about that side of things. Do you think Charles will be king when the Queen dies? Of course, if he's. Still with us, he will. Yes, absolutely. Seeing as we came, uh, uh, what do you think of the Grand National? Oh, yes. Well, I'm not a great one for the Grand National. <coughs> I don't like uh, whipping horses for financial gain. Who have we got here? Seeing as we came from the African Rift Valley, would you ever pay a visit? MSN, it's on my to-do list to go to East Africa and honor the memory of the most wonderful man. Uh, you know, so I need to go there to Nairobi. Absolutely, yes, indeed. Yay, says Pipara. So there we are, fantastic. Uh, now, is, is he? Uh, she's not your sister, so I don't know who's misinformed you. I think you want to find out who told you she was your sister, and you need to tell them they've been very, very cruel to you. Okay, go and tell them now. That's the best thing to do, Izzy, please, because it's such a shame that you think you'd have a sister called that. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> there we go. Uh, what are your pronouns? We don't ever do pronouns on here, of course. It's too divisive. What's your opinion on Benito Mussolini? He's did. That's my opinion on him. Yes, he's did. Tea with Mussolini. Have you ever seen it? Hello from Romania. We love a Romania. Dinky do. Scotty McClue is my noun. Have you got it? That's it. Charles is the Duke of Edinburgh now. No, 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 Nicky. No. No, I don't think so at all. I certainly haven't heard anything about that. That's now how it works. Charles has got his own titles. Charles is um, the Prince of Wales, the Lord of the Isles, Baron Refu uh, Renfrew, the Duke of Rothsay, um, the Earl of Chester. Yes, that's another one. Uh, the Duke of Cornwall. He's got all that. Are you related to Gerard now? There we are. Um, I'm uh, sorry about Prince Philip's Millie. Yes, he was fantastic. Absolutely. Yes, so there we are. Um, what have we got here? They call themselves loyalists and cause violence to their own police force. I agree with the username. Very, very strange setup. Yes, <clears throat> I think it's a bit of a misnomer because they're loyal to a king that's been dead for... 330 years, has he? No, no, about 300 years, right? And he was a very, very, very poor king. So, you know, they, they, and a very poor man. Uh, whoever has McClue as the mojo and the money in the market, absolutely MSN. Take it through. Guys, follow us as soon as you come on. 
Should the rioters take up a hobby like knitting? No, Mickey, I'll tell you what we need to do with rioters. Get them into a Scottish country dance class and teach them to do the Eat Some Reel, the Pride of Erin, the Valita, the, um, what else have we got? Uh, one, two, three, lower the heels. What's that one again? The St. Bernard's Waltz. That's what you need to do with rioters. Uh, make them sit through a Cayley and get up and do Petronella, the Duke of Perth, the Lancers, strip the willow, get them to, and that would stop them throwing bricks at police fans. They're doing that because their brain has slipped. There's nothing in there. All right. There we are. Uh, now, who have we got here? Lexi. Are you a wee troll, Lexi? Let's check Lexi's account, guys. She's called Lexi England. She's got 258 followers, 382 following, 209 likes, and she trolls. Or he trolls. Not sure what his nouns are. There we are. Right, gone anyway. Bye-bye. There we are. And remember, we never ask about pronouns. Follow us, please, guys, as soon as you can. Can I have your hat? <laughs> that was Lexi asking. Uh, do you think the Queen might consider abdication? No, no. Why should she thunderfly? She's come this far. You know, if she can manage another five or ten years. Philip was going to die anyway. Well, we're all going to die. I think that's escaped you. Uh, teach them to dance with your granny and your auntie Fanny. Yes, we'll go to Ireland. We'll say, all you rioters, I'm going to teach you to dance with your granny and your auntie Fanny. <laughs> uh, no, I certainly cannot. No idea. Um, because you don't know him. There we are. You certainly don't know him. Uh, do you support BLM? What a silly question. India, I'm surprised at you asking that. There we are. Uh, with so many people defending Philip, it's embarrassing. Not at all. It's just what we do. In fact, the, the people who are anti-monarchist, we should maybe deport them. Just throw them out the country. End of that. Bye. You're a legend, says Josh. Remember to test your smoke alarms. Always do. There we are. Thanks for asking. Are you Scottish or Irish? I would say both Marvel. There's a lot of different things there. You know, wonderful bloodlines. Prince Philip had a wonderful bloodline. So does Prince Charles. Absolutely outstanding. Follow me, guys. We're very short of followers. All the beautiful people follow. Right? I don't know why, why, see all the trolls. Do they just troll? Do they not follow you? <laughs> Guys, do follow us as soon as possible. We're, we're, we're really needing to get the numbers up a wee bit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying there? there were, what is this? Do you still work at supermarkets? Is that troll language as well? Right? Uh, trying to get you to say a sweet word. Asking if you work at a supermarket. Asking if you support this, that, the next thing. Asking you what your pronouns are. Are these the trademarks of a troll? So if I see, I just scroll by. How are you, Scotty? I am Dinky Doo. Hello, my dear Scottish friend, says Neve. Thank you, Waggy Haggy. Uh, Prince Philip did a lot for people. He did across the world. Wonderful man. There we are. Now, uh, who have we got here? Dinky do There we are. Uh, David, I've had to dump you for being an idiot. Sorry about that, but it's not my fault you're an idiot, if you know what I mean. Uh, so what have we got here? Uh, we're not trolls. We're genuinely interested in your views. Well, why do you say, do you still work at a supermarket when I never have done, if you're, if you're not trolls? Do you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to sleep. Somebody's trying to sleep. They're going to be quiet now. You get off to, to Bobo's. Uh, he is the longest consort in the history of British monarchy. Respect, Robert Scrimger, you top man. How lovely to have you on here. It's always an honour, a privilege. So there we go. Neve says, thank you for not butchering my name. Pronounce it right. Neve, of course. Why would you not pronounce your beautiful name right? There we are. Genuine question. To support the LGBT community. Well, genuine question. What sort of question is that? 
Why would you not? And why would you be interested in somebody's sexual orientation unless you were going to get involved with them? Do you see what I mean? Why would you even ask that? It's like asking people their colour is racist. Do you see what I mean? You, you know, what's most racist is people trying to say uh, we're, we're on the side of racism, we're on the side of anti-racism. Don't even mention it, just leave it. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not your business. So it's a very silly, divisive question. It's like, what are your pronouns? OMG, my respect for you just went through the roof. Why, Leo? There we are. Hello, man. I really love your hat. I thank you. Scotty, this does not people cause a divide. Yes, they do. What have I walked into? You've walked into TikTok's top talk show with Scotty McClure. Can you play an accordion? I can indeed. I don't care about sexuality. I don't treat you any different. It's the person that counts. Brilliant. Well, stick to that. Well done, Lucy. And never, ever ask people what they are, what they want, what they do, all that stuff. Thoughts on Charles becoming Duke of Edinburgh. Emma said, where have you got this from? Is that what they've said? It is a royal dukedom. I'll look into it, but there was an old, you know, you made such a good point. What point did I make, Leah, that was so good? Hello, sir. Do you support the stock market? Well, I don't have any money. So, um, you know, <laughs> it's quite difficult to support a stock market with no money. Are you a royalist? Well, everybody's a royalist. You know, there's, there's no such thing as a a non-royalist, there's anti-royalists who haven't yet been educated about what the, the monarchy does for the country. So they're just daft. They'll trot out the same shecht every time you're, <laughs> they people get a gold thrown. You know, they're just idiots. You know, anti-monarchists are complete idiots. Idiots. They have an IQ of one. They should be deported. There we are. But apart from that, am I a royalist? Yeah, um, you know, I see the value in royalty. I say, Scotty, you don't like it when people try and be divisive. No, we don't like that. Uh, can you tell the person who's trying to sleep to wake up? Yes, Thunder Firefly. Uh, could you wake up now, sleepy person? They're going to wake up now. Uh, full stop, love. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can you play the banjo? Um, the banjo. I once went into a fast food shop and I looked up at the menu and there was the banjo on it. I said, what's the banjo? They said, well, it's a roll, butter, uh, then a salad cream, then a salad, then mayonnaise, then a layer of meat, then um, another layer of mayonnaise, and another layer of meat, and another layer of mayonnaise, and another layer of meat, and then we put it all in the roll. <laughs> I said, right, I'll have one of those. I'll have chicken and pepperoni. So I had the meat feast, and I, I was holding it like this. I, I bit into it, and I was holding it like this, because it all went down my front. And I said, how come they call this the banjo? <laughs> See what I just did there. The British Empire is dead. You are correct, sir. Yes, that's gone. I don't think anybody's arguing about that. Complete the sentence. No true Scotsman. Right. I'm completing the sentence, no true Scotsman would ever say a word against the monarchy. Okay? How about that? There we are. Have a special live when you get 10K. Ooh, that'll be, hey, I might have retired by then. I'm not a royalist. Well, get yourself sorted and become one. Everybody should be a royalist. You know, only an idiot's not a royalist. Why on earth would you not be a royalist? You know, what a silly thing to not be. Um, Russia invade the Ukraine. I don't know, you said, I don't really get involved. There's the wonderful Kareem. Has just sent me a beautiful TikTok. Top man, you sound like a good orange man. Reminds me, no, Lee, Lee, Lee. No, no, you totally misunderstand. I don't hold with any of these things. Well, I do. I understand them. 
Now, but I'm not involved in any of that. You may be looking at my face and thinking it's orange. The royals need to work for the money where you see they do. They do, that's just it. They bring in fortunes. The Queen is self-financing. The Prince of Wales is self-financing. Then for good measure, they shove another two billion into the Exchequer. Tourism in this country brings in 210 billion, not during COVID. And, um, you know, that is outstanding. So if anybody's ever worked for their money, it's the royals. Get that sorted out, you're da. Okay, you're da. Now you know. So Scotland formed the most evil part of the British Empire. Well, I don't know that they were evil, Scotland, but they did administer it. They ran it because the Scots are very clever. You tell them, Scotty. anti monarchists are often Trotskyite revolutionaries. Well, Mickey, another reason to uh, deport them. You know, straight out of the country. What's your favourite TV programme? Miles, Only Fools and Horses. Before Red Tape, PC, everything on TV. I love Lucy. I love uh, Dad's Army. Big Dad's Army, man. Guys, can somebody give us a following, please? We are so short on followers. Nobody's bothering. Just come on and follow. Um, now, I need somebody to be a volunteer to go and like some videos till we see if it gets the figures up. Okay? Uh, the independent newspapers confirmed even the Heritage Files title. Right. Right away, Scrag, okay? I, I, I accept. Um, right away or uh, when he ascends the throne. Scotty, where did you find the badge that says desirable man? Can it belong to you? It was given to me as a present by a beautiful lady. He, there we are, and she is gorgeous. I don't mind the royal family, but isn't the institution of the monarchy built on racist ideas? No, I don't know where anybody's got this from. Yeah, like every institution in the past, there's been elements of racism. Do you know? There's no doubt about that. I mean, the king in the 1600s had shares in a slave company. You know, stuff like that. But the slaves, although it was very, very um, offensive and very wrong what they did, they were treating human beings like commodities. But you've also got to remember all the people at home, and this doesn't get mentioned. <laughs> so we mention that the slaves were the people uh, bought and sold. But what about all the people who mined the coal and who, you know, lived in the country at the time? Everybody was a slave, you see? So the racism, you know, of course, but monarchy isn't built on racism. I suppose it's built on nationalism. And we need to get rid of that idea, you know? Uh, how many people are watching this, Scotty? At the moment, I've got 50, but that will translate into thousands. For instance, the night before last, 30,000 people watched Scotty McClue live. You know, that's all right, isn't it? So there we are. That's quite good. Uh, golf on, geezer bloke, back, back TV. When's a door not a door? When it's a jar. Oh, super -ready. Scotty, we had a wee kip there. How are you today? Kareem, I had a wee kip myself earlier, actually. A wee 40 winks. It's very, very refreshing. I think really everybody was exhausted with poor old Prince Philip's passing yesterday. Uh, right, guys, can I get some followers, please? I'll show you how we do it. Partly it means, if you're watching, can you tap the plus sign at the top left? Okay, tap the plus sign, top left, and get following. Yep, absolutely. What are you drinking the night? Use of straight whiskey, Johnny boy. You know I don't drink alcohol. I'm Scottish and I hate the monarchy. Well, you need to work out what's wrong with you. You've obviously got a wee mental block. Yeah, if you're Scottish, you should love the monarchy because the monarchy is a Scottish institution. Do you hate all of Scotland, although you're Scottish? Chris Rabbit, thank you for your beautiful gifts. Thank you so much, and thank you, Kareem. So there we are. So, Ben, what's happening here? We're building up from scratch. There we are. 
Uh, the empire became the Commonwealth. Not entirely, Mickey. It metamorphosed. The Commonwealth was really the countries that had uh, been granted independence. And they organized themselves into the Commonwealth. Rangers or Celtic, go and see them play, Bertie, and make up your mind. They're both excellent teams, by the way. I wouldn't mind following them. Uh, if you ever get a choice of soup, always take the Oasis soup because you get a roll with it. Yes. Should Ireland restore the ancient high kingship? Mickey, I think they should. The guy that started Sinn Féin was Arthur Griffiths. He was a huge monarchist. You know, I'm surprised Sinn Féin aren't pushing for uh, an Irish monarchy. Uh, I've got, I've not got a clue what's going on. Hello from New Zealand. Clacken, join the rest of us. If we had a clue what's going on, then we wouldn't need to watch, would we? So there we are. OMG, Josie, you know that's just a lot of rubbish. And you're normally a wee troll, and you troll people's lives, and you come out with the same line. Now, I think you could be better than that. I don't think you're just as thick as that, but if you think you are, there we are. So fantastic. Scotty, the royal family are, are Hibernian. Yes, of course they are. Everybody is. Scotty, you're a national treasure. Keep doing what you're doing, mate. Thank you, the charming Jude. So kind of you. Literally, what good has the royal family done for the country? Where does one start? For a start, they're the curators and the custodians of the crown. The crown is our symbol of authority. They have brought billions and billions of pounds. They have um, overseen so many wonderful things. Yeah. You know, the, there's far less poor people because we have a monarchy. You know, they're very, very, very switched on. So quite literally, it's just massive. You know, what the monarchy do for the country is massive. They also look after a lot of our national assets, like Buckingham Palace is a national asset. It was bought for £5,000. Amazing stuff, and it would be priceless now. Imagine if you tried to flog it. Scotty, tell me why I should be a royalist. Alan, I would need to tell you, why should you not be a royalist? Because there's a case for being a royalist, there's no case for not being a royalist. Do you know what I mean? Not if you live in this country. R.I.P. Philip, custard creams. Guys, can anybody follow me, please? Who have we got here? Uh, ben, dinky do. thank you very much for that. There we are. Uh, what do... Ben, you're spamming me now, son. You'll have to go. <laughs> there we go. Scotty, you're a national treasure. I thank you, John Maisie. Um, do you support women's rights? I am the father of feminism. So there you go. Excellent stuff. So I am the father of feminism. Uh, official. Hello, hello, Scotty. Thank you, my guy. A united Ireland under the high king in Tara. Yes, Tara's halls. The heart that runs through Tara's halls. da dee da 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 dee Love Ireland. Scotty, the Royal Family. No. No. Not true, Johnny Boy. No. No. The only one I've got no time for at the moment is that, uh, that Megan. So there you go. Now then, how much do you weigh? I'm 18 stone of solid muscle. I'll show you one of my muscles. Look at this. Look at that arm, right? Can you see? It's so big, I can't get it in. It's solid. Can't even get my hand round it. Oh, I wouldn't like to be in the receiving end of, of one of those, would you? <laughs> so there we are. Joanna did a Scotty. Oh, well, that would be telling, but big sports sports gear wear on me. Yes, absolutely. Now, what have we got? Up oh, the custard creams. Loving this, man. I was there when there was a hundred. Yes, a hundred people watching Scotty. I hope a French revolutionary event happens throughout very Now, real canon, why on earth would you hope for that? Look at the trouble France has been in since they lost their monarchy. Look at the trouble Russia's been in. Yeah. We need more monarchies throughout Europe. Yeah. Okay. So there we are. So don't come out with stuff like that. You wouldn't like if somebody said that about your family. 
Okay? So there we are. And it's also not true. You're a fibber. Um, so there we are. I'm actually on my way. I'm worth my... The French monarchy should be restored. I agree with you, absolutely. So there we are. Uh, now, uh, you're speaking pure facts. Says, hi, we are. Yes, absolutely. Is there more to Scotland than Celtic Rangers? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Celtic Rangers... They, they've got a high press, they've got a high profile, but they're tiny, tiny, tiny. Uh, you know, they're uh, teams that originated uh, with Christianity. Yeah, they were orientated towards Christianity. And um, one of them uh, is, is of a different denomination to that. They're both very Christian and they're both the same religion. And that's what it makes me laugh when people say, I have shelter range of different religion. No, 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 no. Exactly, exactly to the last detail, apart from a couple of things. Same religion. And I think what should happen is uh, that... Uh, at Celtic, before, if they say they're religious, before every game, have have mass. And Rangers have divine service and then swap, you know, and all the Rangers fans attend the mass and all the Celtic fans attend divine service, Presbyterian. See, that would be good, wouldn't it? So there you are. That would be excellent. There we have it. Um... They ran most of the charities in the country. They did, Lucy. They're terrific. Uh, Scotty's a one-man army. Scotty, do you support Scottish independence? I do, very much so. But we will need to ensure we keep the monarchy or it won't happen. Yeah, so you can, you can split the parliaments, Karen. You can't split the crown because the crown is Scottish. There we are. Nice to see our fellow Scottish lads. Tyne Castle Holmes. <laughs> Scotty, uh, what have we got? Johnny boy, don't be cheeky. Come on now. Uh, you're the most desirable man in the world. I thank you, Katie. Uh, give me your mouth shut if people haven't got out to say. That's how I was brought up. I'm the same, Lucy. Yep, thank God I've got out to say. So there we are. Uh, follow us. Uh, there's out and there's now to remember. Scotty, what Scottish football club do you support? Financially, do you mean? Celtic had a requiem mass for the Ibrox victims. Yes, they did, Mickey. Yes. And that's obviously a serious point. Mine had a slight bit of light-heartedness, but you're quite right. Requiem mass. There we are. Hello there, spreading love and positivity in the world. Have a blessed day. Stay with us, Harvey, and spread your positivity. We're all pretty positive on here. What's communism, Scotty? Well, it's it's, it's so, so old-fashioned now, it's not really worth our time talking about it. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I'm disgusted by all the jokes. But, well, there shouldn't be any, Connor, really. You know, but I think... I think that's maybe some people's way of dealing with the tragedy. They are not really together enough to handle grief. So they think, I'll make a joke. Have you ever come across, you know, uh, somebody tells you somebody's died and you go, you're joking. Now, why would they ever joke about that? But you can't believe it. Now, no idea three. Is that really the level your tiny, tiny, teeny, weeny mind operates at? Is that, honestly, the best you can do on the world's top talk show, the top, top TikTok? Is that the best you can come up with? Scott, I've just bought a fish supper. So there we are, tremendous chippy, Louis Pitt, Glasgow. Absolutely, Johnny boy. Wonderful. I had a fish tea last night, and it was outstanding. Right, from one of Scotland's top, top chippies. I'll just have a sip, guys, if I may. I don't know if you can hear it, but the rain's come on. What's your opinion on the current writing in Northern Ireland? Shocking. Shocking. Well, we wonder yesterday, should we bring back the birch, leap out the back of the Polish vans, and just give these wee uh, neighbours a, a leathering? You know, then they go home. And, ah! You say, "What's up with you?" I threw a brick at a post. 
And you say, well, you shouldn't have done that. The keys are leathering. Yes, well, that's what happens if you misbehave. Now, away and get your, your game and start playing. You know, all that stuff, that's of idea. Up the road, aye, Port Glasgow. Thank you, too. Fantastic. Guys, have you all followed me? Um, I'm very, very anxious that we've not got any followers. You know what I mean? And we've been going almost four weeks. You know, what does what does that tell you? So there we are. Happy birthday. Now, what have we got here? Can we have a squeeze box song? Yeah, we can. I'm just looking at a wee troll here. Uh, say happy birthday to my best friend. Ah, I don't think you've got a best friend called that. I think you're a wee troll. Can you do a Belfast accent, please, Scotty? I'm doing one right now. I'll tell you that. Now, there's a guy called Chris who goes up the British. Now, which kind of... You know, there's no such country as Britain. So what's up the who? The Scottish, the English, the Welsh, the Northern Irish, the, the, the Irish, you know? Why is asking for pronouns disrespectful? Because it's nobody's business. It's divisive. You're saying, are you one of them? Or are you one of us? Or are you one of them? Or are you one of them? There's just us. We don't need it. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like racism. We don't need racism. There's only one race, the human race. So we don't need to be taking the knee. We don't need to be saying one set of lives matters over another. It's all, all absolute nonsense. There we are. On here, what we need is more Scotty McClure. Inclusive. We are inclusive. You come on here, you're you. And that's what matters. There we go. Right, who we got here? Two lies and a truth, Simperoni. You're very clever, Simperoni. Uh, we don't support the United Kingdom here. No, no, we support four countries. We support the United Kingdom at the moment, but Brexit has put paid to that, so it will break up very soon. Uh, my kids have done or are doing the Duke of Edinburgh Award, one of his greatest achievements. Happy Squirrel, I did the Duke of Edinburgh Award. There we are. Loved it. Um... Who here likes Donald? Where's your trousers? Well, Callum, it's, would anybody remember it? So there you are. Absolutely, the baby. It's offensive. That's what I say. These people are offensive. Scotty McClue, never, ever, ever offensive. Because inclusive. Inclusion. Everybody's the same on here. No way this is English. Yes. Opinions on mint sauce. Well, mm, you need to speak to uh, to the beef about that, the lambs. Um, up the British Army, undefeated by Irish, the current army. Chris Lloyd, uh, they didn't go in to defeat the um, the Republican Army. They went in to, to look after the victims of the Republican Army. That's why the British Army were in. They went to protect the Catholic population. Yes? So, you know, we, we don't need things like up the British Army and all that stuff. I do think that if the IRA at the time had been serious, they should have put on proper uniforms and announced who all their commanders were. They should have gone on the front page of the paper uh, pictures of them, you know. I mean, we knew during the Second World War what Hitler looked like. We knew what Churchill looked like. We knew what Benito Mussolini looked like. We knew what Chamberlain looked like. We knew what Goebbels looked like. We knew what um, Charles de Gaulle looked like. You know, all these things. And I think that's what you would need, you know. And you would need somebody to put a sensible case for what was going on. All right, people, it's Philip. It was surprisingly funny and very down to earth. I've actually got a book written, I think, in the 1950s, 60s, called The Wit of Prince Philip, and it's quite a thick book. So there we are. Remember when Susie was taping the call? You threatened to sue her for copyright damages. Absolutely. Scotty, I'm voting Labour. 
The only one party for the poor. Well, I haven't seen them help the poor out very much recently, but then they haven't really been. They've been in the wilderness. See, Labour's problem in Scotland was they told whoppers and they betrayed their roots. If they had turned round and said, yes, we will support Scottish independence because it's what we want for the poor people, then it would have been shitty in. Andy Stewart, the rumour, absolutely. They shouted down Leith, but the tone grew more discreet as it travelled up Leith Walk and along the length of Princess Street. Somebody took on a train to Glasgow. <laughs> You're the most beast man I've ever seen. There we are. Now there's somebody going up the uh, up the Royal Artillery. Yes, obviously he's a British soldier. He's called Neil. Neil says, up the Royal Artillery. Yes, Philip did die. Nothing gets past you. I say that. Hello, Scotty, from the Vale of Evesham. Oh, you're back. How lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome. I love the Vale of Evesham. I've done the Duke of Edinburgh's award. Casey, good for you. Who else has? Come on. Follow me, please, guys. We're very short followers. I need to get some followers on here. You know, a lot of you, I think it's heart laziness. If you're watching, take your finger to the top left-hand corner, tap the plus sign. Yeah? And that should be quite good. <laughs> there we are. What do we got here? Uh, you should be ashamed of yourself as my granny Sabs get uh, told off by Susie Babs. Quite right, Susie Babs. Uh, do you believe the Brexit fallout genuinely bring independence to Scotland and all that? Well, it'll genuinely break up the UK because nobody in their right mind wanted that Brexit. But all the weak and uh, nationalists down south, they want their country back. Now, the country hadn't been anywhere. They've been worked from the back. Europe was incredibly good for the UK. You know, I mean, we begged to join. Then we had 50 years of peace and prosperity in Europe. And then some idiot took us out for no reason. Well, to save some rich people paying their tax. Apart from that, so voted to stay in. No, no. Staying in, yes, absolutely. Sorry. Of course, look at the figures. Absolutely. The figures are crazy, crazy stuff. Two hundred billion pounds down the swanee for Brexit. So there we go. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. There we go. Scotty, where were you born? Oh, were you born in the Thorn Hospital in Johnson? The Thorn? No, I wasn't, but I believe it's closed now. Did they demolish the Thorn? And it's housing. The Thorn was known uh, because Johnston was where the the that was the the boundary between was Eldersley and Johnston, or Eldersley and Paisley. Uh, Prince Philip's done a lot more for the country than the trolls. Well, these wee trolls don't understand. Do you know? I mean, it's just a very great man has died. You know, a very great man. But he was just short of a hundred. So I like that. Uh, routine, I need to disappear. Yeah, understand. Scotty, I like your suit. Very smart. Well, out of respect. Out of respect. Guys, I'm going to have to push off. Please like me. Follow me. Go and look at all the Scotty McClure videos and love them. These are crackers. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? House of Jabba, dinky -do. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care everybody as you go goodbye everybody a vita zain au revoir and a cheery oh there are my loves take great care of your dear selves thank you for watching and have a fabulous saturday night dinky doo